All DPS should focus the monk, making sure they have less health than the mage. The monk will charge to a random location and cast Whirling Jade Storm. Someone needs to immediately get into melee range of it since it will be doing raid wide damage. The monk will cast Multi Sided Strike on the tank every 30 seconds. This will teleport the current tank high in the air, and three monk images will fly towards the tank. This is four on Heroic. The monk images will pulse for a brief moment before flying towards the tank. When this happens, the tank should face the image so it flies directly at them. If you don't, you take a lot of damage. If you do, then you'll take increased damage. After all three or four images hit the tank, the tank will be teleported to the ground and take a lot of extra damage so the other tank should taunt off. On Heroic, the monk will spawn a Spirit of Zuin. All DPS should focus this add and slow and kill it while it fixates players. The mage will cast Fireball on whichever tank they have aggro on. This leaves a stacking debuff called Rising Flames on that tank. The tank should taunt off at around five stacks since when it falls off it explodes and hurts the raid more depending on the number of stacks. At certain points, the mage will put an Absorption Fire Shield around themselves and cast an 8 second cast of Pyroblast on a random player. All DPS should switch to the mage to DPS the shield off, then interrupt the Pyroblast, then switch back to the monk. Random raid members will get a Searing Ember's magic debuff on them that should be dispelled or will hurt the raid. On Heroic, the mage will spawn magma traps around the room. They persist through the fight unless stepped in. If you step in one, then it will shoot you high in the air, killing you with fall damage. Only step in these if you have a way to negate fall damage. And vulnerabilities like Cloak of Shadows and Aspect of the Turtle should get rid of them without shooting you in the air. When the bosses reach 30 energy, they'll cast fire from the mist. Living bombs will spawn that the raid should get close to and kill. At 60 energy, they'll cast a flash of hostility. A maze will be created with a ring of pieces. Then fire things will fall from the sky. Make your way around the maze until you get to the end where there will be multiple barriers to attack that share a health pool. On heroic, it's just one barrier. Destroy the barrier to attack the bosses again. Warlock gateways are very helpful with getting through this maze. At 100 energy, they'll morph into a serpent and a phoenix, use heroism or bloodlust here and kill the bosses while dodging the serpent's dragon breath. On Heroic, this dragon breath leaves behind a large line. Also on Heroic, that multi-sided strike that only tanks had to worry about before? Well, multiple people will have to worry about it during this phase.